If you guys would like to win a brand new 13 fishing reel, be sure to watch this video all the way through and stay tuned. Later on in the video, I'm gonna prompt you guys on how to win this bad boy. What are you about to do, Alan Bob? About to whack them, guys. Some big, big, big fish. Maybe some frog action. Got some lily pads out here, some grass. Have not thrown a frog in Savannah yet. I don't even know what that was. Haven't thrown a frog in Savannah yet, but I'm hoping we can catch a big bass on a frog today. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. So guys, I have yet another giveaway for you guys, and it's actually a 13 fishing reel. This is a really good giveaway. I know you guys are really wanting this. Um, if you guys are wondering why I'm giving away so much stuff, well, one, you guys have been supporting the heck out of me, and I believe in showing the love back. And two, I know a lot of you guys, you know, don't have a lot of tackle, and you know, I do, and I'm very blessed to have all this, and I think, you know, since you guys are showing the love on the videos and everything, I wanna give back to you guys, and I really appreciate all the support from each and every single one of you guys. But anyways, we're gonna be giving away an Origin FB by 13 Fishing. So, you guys need to follow these steps. They're a little bit quite different in this one. So first thing, be subscribed to the channel, guys. If you guys aren't subscribed, I don't know what the heck you're doing. We post three bangers every single week, so be subscribed. There's also a little tiny bell notification right next to the subscribe button. You have to hit that. That's gonna turn on post notifications. Um, that's a requirement of the video also like this video and also comment below your favorite bass fishing reel simple as that and you're entered into the giveaway but also one more step there's one thing I want you guys to do and this is a requirement for this video you guys need to text KTB TV to the number I pop up on the screen you guys don't have to do it this second you can do it after the video is over and come back and text that so you guys don't have to get off your phone majority of you guys are watching on your phone um, but if you follow those steps right there you're entered to the giveaway to win this reel I am gonna be announcing all three giveaway winners um, for the other three giveaways on Friday's upload so be sure to stay tuned for that and that's why you need to have post notifications turned on this giveaway we're probably gonna wait until next week to pick a winner just because it's more of a value right here and I think we should wait a little bit of time and let you know more of you guys enter but without further ado, I'm gonna let you guys continue watching the video. Thank you guys so much for the support, and yeah, peace. I don't even think I've shown you guys this yet, but we got us a kayak trailer. We can fit four kayaks on it. I just ignore Alan Bob going to the bathroom in the background. But we can put four kayaks on it. We got Alan's up here, we got the old tan. And mine with the old gray. Adam's not here today. His was right there. We had to take it off. We just had him strapped down right on this bad boy. And this is so perfect for us to travel and start doing some more kayak fishing. What's up? Yeah. I swear you slide. It is. <laughs> it's like half the way. Are you going to be able to get in? Yeah. Oh, shit. Like I'm on a roller coaster. I got my paddle. Okay, I got my paddle. Oh, my God. This water's clear, dude. Okay. We are going to try to catch some thoughts today on the froggy. We got lily pads, grass, clear water. Overcast conditions, fish just hit top water, Alan Bob. I, I watched them, big boy. And we gonna try to catch them on some frogs today, boys. Maybe even a little butt. I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe a chatterbait. You know, maybe chatterbait. Maybe a trap. You know, I feel like all of them are gonna come into play today. But start off, we are gonna start with the frog. I probably need to put my phone and everything in my freaking glove box. You good? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you wanna fish this corner first? I wonder if there's any on bed, man. Yeah. Make sure you don't fall in. I gotta be careful when it hooks in a frog, man. These fish might annihilate this thing. <laughs> Woo! Uh, guys, that looks too good. If I, if I get a big blow up, you might hear me freak out in this video. And I apologize. 
I just can't help myself. Something about a frog bite, when one just explodes on that thing, oh my gosh. And I have not, what I was saying before we put in, I have yet to throw top water in Savannah yet. Uh, for you guys that don't know, I'm in Savannah. I live in Polar. Oh, that's you got a little braid. For you guys that don't know, I live in uh, Savannah, Georgia. So I have yet to throw top water here. If you guys saw the last frog video, that was uh, from Jacksonville, Florida. It's a little bit hotter. Uh, a lot of fish bedding, that whole deal. But I don't know about Savannah yet. We're gonna have to just stick it through today. Maybe we'll get us a big bass on this frog. I might pick up. An old chatter donkey for a minute. Let's see what this guy can do. A fan cast it. I saw a fish blow up out here a minute ago. Probably a lot of grass. I don't know how deep it is. If we can catch them on chatterbait today, that would be amazing as well. One of my favorite big bass fishing baits, for sure. And it seems like it's pretty deep out here. Would not mind throwing a trap as well. Oh my god he came off guys that was a f oh my gosh was that a toad alan i just missed a giant on a frog holy smokes guys he didn't have it it's hard to hook set out of this kayak oh my gosh you talk about getting your blood i was just thinking i was like man one's about to slam got him <laughs> i about fell in for this dink are you kidding me he choked it. He choked that frog. Oh my gosh, look at that baby. <laughs> I literally about fell in over a dink. That, that just would have been amazing, right? And he choked it in the back of his throat. Guys, that's first fish of the day. Pretty quick on the frog. That is a really good sign. First topwater fish in Savannah of the year. And first topwater fish in a while. I can tell you that one. I can tell you one thing, guys. They might be stacked up in this. That sounds crazy, but that first fish that hit me was freaking way bigger than that. That was a whole different fish. I saw his tail come up. That little one did not mind eating that bad boy. All right, we go move spots. I'm gonna put this frog down, especially since I already caught one on it. Literally right off the bat. You missed one? No way. What? Make sure you give him a second to eat it. Guys, Alan just said he missed a freaking toad. We're gonna head over there. He hasn't caught a frog fish yet. I want him to catch frog fish. Hopefully he catches a toad. He said he has missed a toad. Throw it back in there. See if he'll eat it. Throw it back in there. This grass looks, whoo -hoo. This is looking juiced. I'm not gonna lie, be careful when you hook set. I almost fell in. Like I was going in, dude. Dude, look at all, all this grass and how good it looks. Oh God, there he is. Oh dude, he came off. I hook set him so hard, he just flew off. <laughs> okay, he wasn't big. He was like a pound and a half. I mean, he wasn't bad. <laughs> I tell you, that first one hammered me. That one just kind of sucked it down. You got one? Is he big? Island Bob's got one, guys. Looks like a good one on the frog. That's right, his guys. first uh, frog fish. First frog fish. I will catch another one. You got to get one like six pounds now, six man. Pounds, yeah. <laughs> I know they're in here. I mean, look at the bit. Oh, gosh, it looks so good. All right. Good job, bro. Good job, man. First frogfish ever in the slop. Ooh. Covering this water really fast right here. I, don't, I really don't know if there's fish up in this super, super, super shallow stuff. I mean, I could be wrong, but I mean, I haven't had many bites, so I'm popping this frog a lot. I've been doing it really slow, but I just want to show himself to know if there's some fish back here. Working it really fast through this grass and pads, seeing if one to just show his back or if one to get really aggressive with it. 
Got a little bit of wind pushing up in here as well. I don't really know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Usually with a frog, it's not the best. I literally just passed a bed. That's the first bed I've seen all year here. Try this old chatterbait. This wind's pushing up right on this grass. Be a good little ambush spot. This fish be sitting on the edge of this stuff. That's where the fish should be at least. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, oh my god. Maybe that's the move. Rip this chatterbait through that grass. Did you guys just see that? Golly. I'm ripping it through there and that fish came up and was chasing it. Right there, that wind blowing up. Right here is grass and lily pads. Ripping it right through this grass. That was quick. You got one? Alan Bob just caught one. That's how they're supposed to eat it. He choked it all the way in the back of his throat. That was a little guy. Threw it right around on that bank. Has a little open pocket. And he hit me hard. Like, he wanted it. Second fish on the frog. Starting to look good. You got another one? Alan's got him another one. Are you kidding me? God! That was a big, dude, I just missed a big one, Alan. Fuck. You guys see the shoulders on that donkey? Oh man, I kind of stuck him. I, I don't know if he's gonna bite again. God dog, man. I swear he had it. Alan has one right now. That would've been nice to double up. Third fish on the frog. Absolutely hammered it like the second one. He hit me once right in that pocket. I let it sit for just a second, popped it once, and he engulfed it, guys. Well, boys, we are going up in the shallow waters of death. That's exactly where that fish hit me, and he just swam off. Something swam off. We are going in the grass up here. We about to, we about to get through this secret juice right here and catch some bigs. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Pole's about to go in the water. We about to catch one right here. Yep. Are you? That was a freak. <sighs> I just missed a good one. He literally had his back come all the way up over. He looked like he's about three, four pounds. <sighs> Could be wrong. His back just came on it. Trick is to work this frog super, super slow. Some days with the frog, it's just like sometimes they don't want to eat it. And I feel like I missed so many fish on it. Most of the time, it's not your fault. It's just they're not eating it all the way. Solid guy, solid three pounder. Really put a beating on me, fought hard. Let's get a release on him. That's what we came here for. Thank you. This looks money. This is like the juice. It's a little corner over here. I know we are gonna get a bite in here. Please be like a 10 pounder, man. Let's cut, let's cut to the bullshit. Alan's over there flirting with old Waffle House girl. Oh no. Alan, Bob, she likes your fish, boy. God. Guys, I got a freaking good one. Oh my god. Oh! All because I was turned around. Are you kidding me, man? I knew that was gonna happen after all that. I'm getting aggravated now, I'm not gonna lie. You wait that long for a bite, and then your kayak decides to freaking just turn you into a circle, right? I hooked him and he drug me to the left, got me down some slop. I couldn't even turn my body. I was, and the whole kayak was turned around. That was a dang good one. So everyone, I was talking to Alan. I, I really think it was just a white frog. So I switched over to this one. It's like a brown and white. This is Alan's. I want to see if it makes a difference. I feel like they're not committing. Everyone that he's had has choked it. And I feel like every single one that bites me is just not eating it. So we're going to switch to this brown one in this clear water and see you know, if that makes a difference because I am like pausing it for a while. I feel like the white's just throwing them off. I, I could be wrong, but I guess we'll see. Oh! 
Oh my gosh. Got a good one on a chatterbait, people. Yeah. Okay. On the chatterbait. You choke that thing. Look at that. Maybe we're throwing the wrong bait this whole time. Pretty little bass. Look at that. Look how dark he is from being in all that grass. That is awesome. All right. A little quick change. We caught us a fish. There he is. Golly. He's right where he should have been. Choke that chatterbait. Look at that. A little fatty. He's right there where that wind was coming around. First cast up there. Beautiful little fish, guys. All right, we about to whack him on this grass edge. It's about getting this dang kayak positioned right. This wind. That should be game over. This whole bank right here is gonna be good. Just like that. Oh, it's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Stacked up right here in this wind. Creaming an old chatterbait. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing right now, you know, we started off this morning. Gosh, scared me. So we started off this morning with top water, top water frogs. Um, we went and fished a big flat and little cove, um, which was loaded with lily pads and, and grass. Now that's got a little bit later, you know, the frog bite's slowing a little bit down. I'm starting to hit, you know, a little bit of main lake stuff, um, main lake windblown points, has some grass and lily pads on the front. It seems that some of these bass are staying out here. Not all of them are pushed super shallow because we were getting those bites on a frog where, I mean, we're, we're sitting in like two foot. So it seems like there's some fish still out here deeper on these points um, with this wind blowing by. But they should be feeding really well and we should be running it, running into some here soon. Switching it up to a fish head spin, spinner bait, and a chatter bait. We're gonna be throwing this around a bunch. I think the frog bite is a little bit slowing down, so uh, picking up the spinner baits. How you doing? You're not allowed to fish over here? I got you. Yeah, that's what a few people told her. I, I got you. I talked, give me one second, I'll get everybody. Yeah, I talked to somebody. I didn't know you weren't allowed to fish in here. Okay, I got you. Thanks. All right, brother, you have a good one. We just got kicked out, boys. Bob, I'm coming in way too hot. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> All right, I keep going. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. Oh. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun while it lasted. <laughs> At least we caught some. I missed so many. I'm kind of mad about that, but whatever. All right, Alan, what's happening? Guys, we just got pulled over by the cops. <laughs> All right, though. You got the cops okay. call? Yeah. We still caught them, though, right? Oh, we caught a bunch. <laughs> you caught a bunch. I, I mean, I caught it. Once I picked up the chatterbait, I caught some, but I missed so many on the Dang frog. I'm mad about that. But we gonna strap these bad boys up. When we get in the car, I'll kind of explain a little bit more about what just happened. So, you guys are probably wondering what the heck just happened. So, we got the cops called on us and um, we just got kicked out with something. We just got kicked out. I didn't know you weren't allowed to fish here. There's literally no fish. There's no, no, there's no, there's zero no fishing signs around here that I've seen. I fished here once before. I never put a kayak in here, but uh, pretty much there was like this golf cart, or not a golf cart, I don't even know what it was driving around and i couldn't tell if like the lady was really kind of like trying to get our attention i i don't i don't really know but they're just driving around kind of watching us and all of a sudden i see a cop pull up and the guy has to drive like all the way around this into the grass on the other side of the pond and he called us over he was really cool when he when he kicked us out he really didn't say much i mean he's just like yeah you know there's alligators in here and he's like you can't fish in here 
that's about it and then we're on with our day but man it's been a while since i've got the cops called on me for fishing i'm honestly glad it was today nothing happened we didn't get no tickets nothing bad he just told us to leave he's pretty cool so that was a little unexpected ending to the day of, of, of the video but um i hope you guys enjoyed it it was a really tough day of fishing i mean a really tough i had a hard time hooks in on those frogs i really think it had something to do with alan having that natural color in that clear water and me having that white one and the fish is not committing as much um but overall it was still a fun day ended up getting kicked out i didn't know that we weren't supposed to fish there so at least we know now um and uh I, if you guys haven't entered the giveaway to win this origin fb by 13 fishing be sure to do so um go check it back at the beginning of the video if you haven't seen this part and uh watch on how to enter this giveaway i will be in announcing all three of the other giveaway winners this friday on the new upload on um, this i'm going to leave a little bit longer it's probably going to be a week like i said um but then we're going to be giving this bad boy away but be sure to follow the steps enter this giveaway if you guys haven't subscribed already and you guys aren't subscribed to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and like button as well and overall thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next upload beat it up beat it up keep it up keep it up they gonna try you they can't stop you